Hi, beautiful Scorpio. Welcome to New Era. My name is Emma. Um, I've been away for over a week again. I've been feeling the energies of the earth changing, to be honest. Uh, long story short. And I also have started a while back, a couple of weeks ago, um, this program where we work through every chakra through our body. And we have spent two weeks on our heart right now. And now we have, we have moved up into the throat. And I am very naive and a little bit arrogant. When I start these things, I think that they're not going to affect me. <laughs> like I'm somehow uh, sheltered from this or the world events sometimes when I don't sort of keep track of my own energy uh, and also holding a lot of space for other people. It just um, sometimes I just sort of get right in there and I lose the energy and this time I even turn sick. So um, I wanted to do these readings for everyone what, right around Valentine's Day, these love readings and we're way past Valentine's Day. But it is also because of the planets are standing like the constellation between the planets are in a way that it really promotes love around this time. Uh, and it's ongoing until a little bit into into March. So it's not going to be for February anymore. This is and I, and I also always trust that there is a reason for it. Like there's a reason why you didn't get your reading around Valentine's, but rather now that this reading is for the whole of March. So we're going to see what that is about, why you're getting it now. And we're going to do for singles and for committed. I understand that there's everything in between, but to not drive myself crazy and you will stick to two stories. So single and, and um, committed. Like, what is that other thing that people are? <laughs> They're committed. <laughs> and then pay attention to each other's stories. If you're in a committed relationship, you can get a lot of, of the story for singles. And if you're in the single situation, you can get a lot of about listening to, to the committed. So just think of this whole reading as being a reading for you, no matter what I'm talking about. So Scorpio love. And if you resonate with this message, and if you've been coming here for a bit, and you really resonate with, with these messages and with my energy, I really would appreciate if you subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And then if you want to, uh, click the little bell. There's a little bell right next to the subscription. Just click it and you'll get notified <clears throat> when I upload the videos. There's no love story here. Love for Scorpio for March of 2022. <clears throat> as an overall energy and then we're sort of going into separate stories but they're still both of them for you wow it's really taking some time here let's see what that is about Scorpio as it's called in French what's that I have no idea what it's called in French are you kidding me? <laughs> I do apologize. I do apologize, Scorpio. I don't know why it's taken so long. Is it single Scorpio that has a feeling like it's taking forever to meet someone? Is it committed Scorpio that you're doing something and it just doesn't happen? Stagnation? Or something can be really thorough, like we want this to be com like completely right. So we're taking our time for like the perfect thing to come out. That could be it, because when I said that, two cards came out literally seconds, like one second after. <clears throat> so this is not like one for single and one for committed. These are both for single and committed. We're starting with the illusion card and with the dolphin card. The illusion and the dolphin. And if we're starting with the illusion card, embrace the truth.
So usually this is usually this is my card saying we shouldn't take everything so seriously. Like whatever we're creating, whatever we're doing, whatever relationship situation we're in or we're not in, like to not take this whole game that we call life so seriously, but to just rather lighten up a little bit and feel more at ease about it, more joyful about it, more playful about it. And it's also an illusion. So it's like, it's completely up to you. And I know it sometimes doesn't feel that way, but it's completely up to you to choose the reality or choose the life that you want for yourself. I was just seeing this man. This man is really standing out to me here today. That's looking for someone like they're out looking for someone. So is there, is there a Scorpio out looking for someone? And together with dolphin, don't worry, be happy. So there's also this little bit of like the seriousness, like there's so much happy stuff going on around you, going on around uh, Scorpio. Like there's so many beautiful things, you know, parties, happy go lucky people the dolphin that just speaks like ugh, the dolphin just a dolphin itself i could talk a week for dolphins like about dolphins because they're just so i just find them so extraordinary and so sharp and beautiful and almost otherworldly like they're not even like a part of this they feel a little bit alien like to me in a, in a, in the best way so it's like a little bit of an otherworldly feeling here, being a part of your life. We have all these bubbles with eagles flying around, which like represents so much smartness and wisdom, sharpness. And then you're in the middle of this Scorpio here, standing here, being a little bit worried, anxious, not wanting to really participate. It's like I'm standing here and I'm seeing all, seeing all these parties and I'm seeing all these happy people and, <coughs> excuse me, <clears throat> but you don't want to, like you're not participating. You don't want to really be in it. And if that's due to being worried, that's also like, don't worry, be happy. And this like illusion, like we don't have to take things so seriously. <clears throat> Tea time. Okay, let's see what's going on here, Scorpio. Why are these here? We're going to start with Scorpio single, but Scorpio committed and everything in between. Please pay attention anyway. Scorpio single. Wow, my energy is just going to undress here a little bit. Because <laughs> my energy really got going really fast here today. Which I'm happy about. As soon as I'm starting to receive messages, the energy is like crazy in my body to the point of sweat. <laughs> Lovely information. Okay, Scorpio, Scorpio single. <clears throat> okay, I just got, okay, I just want to show you all that glitters. 16 sudden shifts and sudden changes for if you're single uh no right i was gonna pull another card because i i just got the inspiration to pull another card for um for the committed but this is actually for the commit committed so we're gonna pull another card for single interesting so scorpio single So all that glitters is out for Scorpio committed, but Scorpio is single, pay attention. Still, we can learn from each other and we can use each other's stories. Scorpio is single. Is it Scorpio is single that really wants to get it right? Scorpio is single is really waiting for someone. Because it's taking some time here again. And just as I said that, the card came out. So someone is really waiting. You're getting a beautiful card here to the sea number seven and actually um the 16 there adds up to number seven as well and i've had a lot of seven in, lately in these readings which for me speaks about how the angels like the angel realm is really present it's really like it really has your back it's it's um 
divine orchestration going on at, at a really high level. To the sea, just let me sit with this for a bit. So, <clears throat> I just feel around this that there's like, even though there might be a person out there who's like whoever it is, it is that I'm picking up the energy from, who feels like it takes forever to find your person. It just like you just want to find your person. This to the sea is about like feeling really like if you look at this person sitting in this, it looks like a bathtub. Just, just sort of cruising across the sea, <laughs> uh, has has a clear direction. Like it's point pointed in a very clear direction. Has no issues with like where where should I go? There's no fork in the road. There's no like decision to be made here. We're just cruising along. The person sitting in this bathtub is very content. They seem to be really sort of engaged in something, really busy with something that has their full attention. Almost to the point of, you know, laying, laying a puzzle or I can't think of anything. And I, I don't know when I last laid a puzzle besides, you know, a pig and a cow with my son. <laughs> like it's sort of, it sort of doesn't get to the point of meditative uh, situation. But like when you do something like long enough and you're so focused on what you're doing that it becomes almost meditative. Like you're just sitting in this very gorgeous flow. And we have a crow sitting back there, sort of being on the lookout. The crow is sort of waiting for the messages to come in. So it's almost like you have a little bit of a servant or like an assistant or something that is at your, I'm saying that you, I'm not saying that you have, but I'm saying it seems like you always almost even have your like personal spiritual servant that is like at your back and call and, and, um, are on the lookout for you. Like they're taking notes and they're taking messages when there's an incoming situation here. Like you're gonna be, they're, they're gonna let you know about it. And then they see the little bubble there again, like the bubbles swirling up behind the bathtub there, which we had here, a lot of bubbles, but then they were filled with eagle sharpness, wisdom, So there's something about here they're filled, but here it's empty. It's like in the be it's in the beginning of the journey here. It's almost like it's almost like oh, that's interesting. It's almost like before everything started, like before. But I'm reading this for single as you haven't sort of even started yet. So this this might be a little bit telling that like this was going on before. You're very content. You were very like sure on your path, which, which direction to go in and very, very just at peace where you were at, even though you were single. And then it seems like you have come into a situation that, that you're not in anymore. And now you're not so happy with the bubbles anymore. And like now you're not so, this is so interesting because it's like, it's almost like Scorpio got really serious. Are you a little bit too serious about all this? Um, because to the sea is about like just going, sort of going with the flow, going where life takes you, really being prepared and really being ready for this next level, this next beautiful relationship. Uh, it talks a little bit about like being connected to your source and being connected to your high, higher power before connecting with another, if that makes sense. And then we have this big grand face here, which I feel like is even more enhancing the message that spirit really is with you and overseeing everything. It's almost this, um, what's, um, what's the movie? The um, Truman Show. Like the Truman Show, like the Truman Show, it's not like you're, everyone is watching you, but it's like a complete, like someone really has your back and someone really is paying attention to where you're at. Like spirit is really with you, not in a creepy camera way, but they really have your back. We're gonna let that simmer there for a bit because it feels like it ties in with the committed here today, which is all that glitters. And uh, with 16, sudden shift and sudden changes, 
which is also number seven if you add it up. So there's something here. I feel, I feel disappointment here today. I feel disappointment, uh, Scorpio. So I don't know if someone was recently in a relationship and you have broken it off or you're Because this is for committed, but but it came out. I was shuffling for the single, and then sort of spirit had me switch it up. Like, no, this is gonna go where the committed is. So it's almost like it's for the single as well. It's it's it really ties in here together. It's almost like I could just do a reading for Scorpio overall. And so there's something about all that glitters, like all that glitters isn't gold. It looked so good and shiny in the, in the beginning. It looked so promising. Like, this is it. Like, this is my person. This is, this is where I'm supposed to say, like, this person is so beautiful and everything seems to fit. Everything is so gorgeous. And then a sudden shift, like there's sudden shift, sudden changes. Something rapidly changed here and it wasn't. It wasn't your person. It wasn't what you were promised. It wasn't what you were hoped, what you hoped for. And now you're like, now you don't want to participate. And if this is you be in a committed relationship, there's something that in this committed relationship, <clears throat> not necessarily with the person being sort of disappointed with your person. This is more something that you then have been mo moving towards. You thought this was it. This was the house you were going to move into, or this is it. You're, you're taking, you're going to go on this journey, or you were going to have this baby, or you were going to uh, start this business together, or whatever. And it's like, and everything looked so good. It looked so good. And then, no, all that glitters isn't gold. Like, it wasn't what you thought it was going to be. And something rapidly shifted there with the 16. And the party's going on, like the, all the beautiful stuff is happening around you, but you're not having any of it. It's like you're taking a little bit of a breather. Like it, I struggle to get the cards out. I'm, I'm fascinated how long it took to get the cards out here today. Like you don't want to play. You don't want to. And it's like so important here to remember today. And if this is something like, if this is heavy as like you're grieving right now or you're feeling like, uh, I don't even want to say it out loud, but if someone just lost their baby or if this is like a, a, a major deal, just, you know, didn't go through on, on a house or on a business, whatever, you know, take freaking a breather. I'm not saying laugh it off. And I think you've been, if you've been listening for, to me for a while, you know, I'm nothing about that. But if this is a little bit in the background and, and like you just need to have a reminder that it is all an illusion. It is all an illusion. This is a game. And whatever you were going for, you can have it again. Maybe you want to take a day or two or three or three hours to think about what truly you it is that you want and get back on your feet. But it is an illusion and it's not for us to take so seriously and really, 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 whatever it is that you're dealing with, it is at the root energy and that energy can be created again. And whatever fell through, like, like I said, there's a reason. So I started to say before almost even getting into your message, I said, I always find that there's a reason for everything. And there's a reason why I didn't do your reading like in, um, February or around Valentine's, let's see what the reason is that we're now doing this in March. So there's something about that message sort of coming in here again saying, there's a reason for this not taking place right now. There's a reason why you were not supposed to be with this person, or why this house fell through or why this, you know, whatever this is that sort of didn't work out, it, it wasn't supposed to. And it's because March is coming and something's, something even better is on the horizon. And right now, um, Scorpio, that's so important to remember that it like, whatever didn't work out, 
something really, really awesome is on the horizon. So these bubbles now, like they were empty from the beginning. A little crow there, like I, I will collect your messages as they come in. <laughs> and we have little bubbles there, they're empty. And now you have filled those bubbles, like you had dreams and hopes and wishes. And you know, for everything that fails, there's going to be another stronger wish. And those bubbles are going to just get more and more and louder and louder and clearer and clearer and more filled, like jam packed with stuff that you want that is at your, whenever you want to feel ready for you to start to experience. We just have one more card here. Interesting beginning here. Very different reading from every other reading. Just some overall, overall here for Scorpio, please, for love. And like, I don't feel like you necessarily, like there's one part that is so content. One part of you is like so content and really happy in your shoes, in your clothing, in your skin where you're at, like you're so focused on other things to the point where it's becoming meditative. Like it's like cruising along and just sort of dealing with life's stuff. And then there's another part, like standing in the middle of every single joyful thing and you don't want to, like you don't want to be a part of it. But just because you don't want to be a part of it doesn't mean that you're not content necessarily. But you do look a little bit worried and a little bit like this is no fun. Okay. Can we just go deeper here for Scorpio, please? All of a sudden, I'm just seeing all this purple. So with all this purple, for me, that is um, spiritual growth. Like just connection with spirit. We already have the 777. We have spirit coming through. I actually saw right then. Look at this. To see the faces. So you here you're going through whatever situation you're going going through, there's like a a face in the ethers behind the tub. And here, all that glitters, whatever situation you were in that sort of didn't work out, spirit is there to oversee everything. Right there. And right there. So you're protected, you're divinely guided, you're, even though it's in the smack middle of 16, like even though it's like, it might even be like a tower situation for you, that this ended, whether you ended something or someone else ended something or something fell through or something didn't work out that the way that you hoped it would be, your spirit is still there with you. Like you're not left alone. You might feel that sometimes like, what, what is it that I'm doing that it doesn't like, did you forget about me? No, this is supposed, this is supposed to happen. Okay, and then I'm getting challenging times. So there's a gardenness there for sure. There's a gardenness there and, and maybe you need to have this gardenness up for a little bit. Five is overcoming these obstacles. Five is a great opportunity for change. We're going to look deeper into this. I always feel a little bit like, oh, I sort of want to reach out and give you a hug and just ask what's going on and, and invite you for tea or a cup of coffee. <laughs> okay uh, I'm gonna move into the extension and see what else we can find there for you see maybe perhaps a little bit of an inspirational upliftment or something uh, see what else comes out there for you if you want to come there um, you can follow one of two links or both if you want to uh, <laughs> but that's really no point one is Vimeo um, and the other is uh, buy me a coffee on this donation site where you can go and just you can just go there to support the channel and as a little beautiful um, result, you actually get access to all the extendeds. I put all the extendeds out there uh, and for a cup of coffee, you can actually get access to all of them. So whatever you feel like going, 
completely up to you or nowhere, then thank you so much for um, watching. I hope to see you back soon. Bye, Scorpio.